Um, what I want to talk to you today about is the survey that will be launched this week. Do we? Oh, good. Um, so you should have gotten this letter in the mail announcing the um, survey. If you didn't get this, let the office know. Um, and what we're doing is um, called a Congregational Assessment Tool, or CAT. You'll be seeing a lot of um, CAT references. Um, the, uh, Susan's two cats will be the spokesmodels for um, <laughs> everything that goes on, and they're very okay. excited about that. Um, this is um, done, and by the way, this PowerPoint, there are four PowerPoints, and I talk fast, so don't panic, it's not death by PowerPoint. Um, so this is, the consulting company is called Holy Cow, and there's always an exclamation point after that, so I'm always tempted to say, holy cow! Um, but it will measure the level of satisfaction um, at the church and identify things that are critical to the success in the future, uncover any um, potential resources, and it will really help gain an understanding of what um, the church is all about and it can facilitate planning. It's really critical for the PNC and for the new installed pastor. And it's also, I think this is timely because not only are we in a period of transition, but the pandemic and the lockdown dramatically changed the church, um, the, you know, the society in general. And um, there are things that we want to find out about that whole experience. So next slide. So again, you received that letter. Um, let us know if you didn't. We, you will get, be getting a test email just to see if, um, if we've got correct emails, if you know, some of them bounce back. We need to know that. On Thursday, April 20th, each member and frequent attenders will get an individual link to the survey. The survey is entirely confidential. There is no way we can find out either who took it or what you said, okay? Um, so we won't, the only thing we will know is how many people out of the number that we sent have responded, and we'll be keeping track of that. You can go to the next slide. So the survey itself will take about 30 minutes. Um, you can take it online or paper. If you don't wanna take it online, let the church office know and we will get you a paper copy. Um, but if you want to take it online at the church, we'll have laptops available for you and we'll help you through that. Um, the uh, survey is going to be available for two weeks um, and the results are going to be shared with the elders, the deacons, and the PNC and then we will have a summary um, that the congregation gets so that you'll know um, what was said. And keeping with the cat theme, everybody who takes the survey will be eligible for a Kit Kat bar. <laughs> It'll, it will be um, the honor system. We won't know whether you actually took the survey or not. So um, if you have a high need for a Kit Kat bar and didn't take the survey, we won't, we won't know. Um, and last slide, Marty. So please ensure that we have a current email for everybody in your household who is a member or a frequent attender. You can't share the link, okay? Um, set aside enough time, please, to do the survey. Unfortunately, we learned that you can't, this, the system doesn't allow you to start it, leave, and go back. If you, if you leave, all your answers are gone. So um, you have to set aside about 30 minutes to take the survey. Um, and just a, a, a little commercial, the, the very end of the survey is really important. It's the demographics around um, who you are, you know, age, um, how long you've attended, frequency, those kinds of things. And the last two sections, one has to do with this transition and how you feel about the transition. And the um, other part is what kinds of skills are you looking for in the new pastor? So those are really important. So please stick with it and um, go on to the end. So you'll be getting that Thursday, April 20th. You'll get a test email first. Um, let us know if you don't get that. Um, and if you have any questions about it, you can um, email me, call me, text me, 
Okay? Thank you.